Hello, my fellow pilgrims. I'm your host, of course, Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here, of course, in Old World Blues, playing as a Seraph Lords. So, we've got a few comments to go over first. For example, I should someday play as the East Coast Enclave. Well, I'm definitely waiting for a mods or sub-mod update to begin, or to happen, before I can play as the East Coast Enclave sometime, which I really do hope to play as someday. A couple other ones. If I ever have a Spec Ops division, I should call it the Knights of the Crimson Order. It has been written down, and uh, we'll see what happens. Next up, there's a new Reno sub mod. Wow, I did not know the apostles got that big. Wow, that those are some big apostles. Wow, yeah, uh, sub mod for new Reno. Uh, I need to play. As, I have yet to play as new Reno, so I'll get there eventually. We have to praise the Lord and pass the ammunition first, though. And uh, yeah, I th yeah. Also, there's one more comment from yesterday about my focus. I chose to end cannibalism, but then I stopped going down this path. Yeah, I know. I stopped going down this path because even though I like it, we have other things that have to get done first. Yeah, stability is nice. Don't get me wrong, I love stability. And a permanent 25% reduction in coring costs, that's really good as well. Like, really, really good. Old Oregon ways. But, but these other paths, I definitely want to explore these paths. A little further on but before we get too far within this two minutes or first two minutes of this video i do want to remind everyone there's a poll in my discord server if you haven't already go to my discord my mods or i will add you to the channel or the to the server itself once you land on my greetings page vote in a poll whether or not or which game or and, and or mod i should play at the beginning or near the beginning of july anyways furthermore i do want to know your opinion on this because we come down here and we're all very holy but there might become a question of syncretism. Will we eventually have communion achieved where Heaven's Gate accepts us? Or should we try to nudge ways over to where we might get excommunicated? Hmm. You know what? With this path, we get Schism in the Steam, which kind of hurts our division attack. Well, uh, Land for the Crusade and War for the Steam. Which means we get a war goal on High Chapel and eventually get a core all of Heaven's Gate. Or we get Communion Achieved for a little more fa max factories in a state, more uh, research speed, army XP, a few more workshops, electricity, brothers in arms, which sounds really cool. Blessing the Steam. I've not played this yet, so there might be a way for us to figure this out. But I want to keep you guys aware. We, we might get excommunicated by those we call religious followers. I'll just put it like that. Cool. So this is going to be a bad idea if I try to uh, surround and cut these guys off. This seems like a very bad idea if I do this. Hopefully these guys hold forever. Come on. You guys got this, right? Right? Get in there. Get in there. Good. Nice. Here we go. And I'm glad the Desert Rangers are here so we can uh, do some things that might benefit us quite well. Oh, and we just got cut off ourselves. God dang it. That Now, that was a bad idea. But you know what? It could have been a much worse idea, I suppose. If we can win there, that would be fine with me. Um, go ahead and help out right here. That's okay. We gotta take some risks. You're not moving. Wow. Kimmel Station. They love leaving their areas so we can kill them. And I agree. We should. Wow. They've completely surrounded this entire area. That is insane. That is absolutely nuts. But that's okay. I'm going to figure out a way to kill them off anyways. It doesn't really matter in the end. Roll march. Cool. If you guys want to leave, so be it. Washington Brotherhood, Council of Pilgrims, my friends. We got more division speed, max factories in a state, and research speed. We declare war on the old country. Armored Crusaders, power armor, question of the soulless. Oh. The God of Steam loses religious nut jobs. Not bad, but you know what? We could do Shashon Savers. Shashoni. 
oligarchy. Let's go with cutting out the red meat or every mana star. Every man, every mana star. Abandoning cannibalism is more than just stopping the feasts. It means that people that spent their lives practicing the rituals need a new faith to believe in. While our practices have made us too vile for even the men of the steam, let alone the Canaanites, to teach us faith, we can instead look towards something else. Within the old libraries, we have found a reference to an old esoteric religion known as Thelma. One which encourages the belief in one's own will. This is a fitting religion for the wastes, no? Hey, we got some more supply. Very good, my guys. Very good. And we have encircled these guys over here. What a bunch of not bueno people. Alright, so since we're holding here, we're going to come that way. We're going to come that way. And you know what? We're just going to come down that way and go to Kimalt Station. Good. You guys go that way. You guys come back immediately. Actually, you know what? You hold. You hold them here. You hold him here. Camel Station is always a little difficult to take out. I'm not gonna lie. Hold. Kill them off. The main goal is to get rid of these enemies. You guys come here and do that. I like that guy. Battle plans are very nice. We are going to incur quite a few casualties in this early campaign because of this. But we do get to core, core these uh, enemies, so that'd be nice. Thank you. Go straight to Camel Station. Thank you very much. Withered Dogs Alliance. Oh, they. We couldn't hold him back, huh? Just couldn't hold him back. Take out the tile. Oh, boy. That is... We are barely connected here. Alright. Good. That's done. Come on, station. These two divisions will die. Uh, Desert Rangers, please help me out, please. That would be very good if you could. Yeah, go that way. And then do that. Cut those guys off. Thank you. Thank you. I've lost quite a few guys. 116. That's... What if you... Uh, where's their capital now? Go ahead and have kill them off. Please. Thank you. How did we... What the heck? How did we get in circle here? What the heck? Oh my gosh. Rome March is really the capital now. Our, or we're just going to march... Alright, we're in. God, this is a giant mess. Glory Falls. Well, okay. Well, whatever. Hold him there. Beat him up. Get some combat language going on. Yeah, get some description. That'd be kind of nice. Actually. We're going to come this way. Possibly. If possible. You're going to go that way. You're going to kill these guys here. You're going to come there. And then go straight to there and there. You guys are going to come down here and kill them off. Camelot Station is an annoyance that must be uh, terminated. Terminated, we'll say. Help them out. Good. We've got these guys off, which is awesome. Kill them off, take all the land. So they can't do anything. Nope. Ah, followers of the apocalypse. This happens every game. Uh, we'll just go ahead and accept them, that's fine. Okay, so we've taken your capital three times. That should be enough. Thank you. And we just finished every mana star. Just in time. Because we need to be able to core the next stuff. Come out armory, three cores, and get guns, or the great artillery. I'm going to go with the one that gives us three cores. Inside the old station, we have found a large stash, large stash of old rifles. I cannot speak. My apologies. Words are hard. Uh, very good, very good. Militia's... Right, ooh, how much rider equipment? We have no rider equipment. That is not bueno. Mm-mm. At least begin making some rider equipment. Yink dot, they're one crazy horns. Cool. Next up is Shoshone Nation. Thank you. Because even though this is going to take... Oh, and before I forget, I did this, I think, in my last game. I did not put this on Wasteland Pacification. For this right now, though, I think I'm going to leave it on Eradication. We're not going to get any compliance, but once we core stuff, it doesn't really matter. 0. 0.4. 0. 0.5. You know, whatever. Uh, resistance targets. Decay. Growth, level supplies. Just got to get to that as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, what do we have over here? Infrastructure. Gold digger. No, that's not really worth it. Lock and load. Infrastructure. Stability isn't bad. Can we get some more stability, perhaps? Grant bases. You can have a whole two scrap metal if you really feel like it. Restore state of Oregon. We will get there. My goodness, that manpower is a little scary. I'm thinking to go with aug outsider auxiliaries. That could be really nice for us. And might as well. Cool. Reference manuals. Good. 
get slightly more manpower. Not much more, but slightly more. And I get a thousand more guns, which isn't too bad either. You know what, for now, we can do that, since we're going to get a little surplus of guns, which would be nice. How many divisions does this, does this nation have? Potato farmers. They have up to 12, so a great con during the Northern Mojave Pact. Uh, we could go to war immediately, but let's not go to war first, just because they have quite a few divisions in the Shoshone Nation, so let's do the Great Artillery. The great guns of Kimolt should be better used somewhere else now that we have taken this station, no? Two more cores, and we get uh, valid for the... Next two researches of these technologies, heavy ballistic weapon weaponry. Well, unfortunately, I'm not going to go down that path. I'm definitely going down a different path. Good. Waste on eradication. Cool. Uh, this just this actually does cost more. You might as well do that. Screw it. Just leave it on there. Forget about it. Forget about it. I probably will, honestly. Go. Rank for straight. Only three research slots. Cause I was leading to clay war in cowboy country. Well, good luck, cowboy country. You are probably going to need it. The Troll Warren are smashing through the Marlurks tribes. So, whoa. That does not look good to see. Mm-mm-mm. Psychers, Riders. I do want to make one of these, but we have no special forces equipment. It is what it is. You guys are 14 combat width. I prefer you if you're a little thicker. But how much manpower is that going to cost? 25 more? Yeah, I mean, look at that. That's pretty low. That's pretty darn low. It makes us a little bit stronger, which is nice. But manpower? Hmm. Gonna be an issue. Ah, the great artillery. Good. Now let's go ahead and do the Shoshone disgrace. The Shoshone were exiled out of their old homes ages ago, settling in some of our former territory along the coast. We need to reclaim this land and drive the Shoshone off. Oh, my goodness. Yes, we do. Hmm, it's not worth it. Drastic measures. Hopefully we don't ever have to get there. Good. Uh, a little bit ahead of time. That's fine with me. Get some more research speed anyways. And then we'll continue doing more of our land option. No, we're already doing it. Good, 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 good. We have a lot of naval XP. Look at that. That is nice. We dance on the water, too. We could train these guys. Manpower is looking, well, a little better. Not great, though. Because we're still trying to fight cannibalism. And we have another division. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Do we have enough guns? Yes, we do. You know what? Just make them 20 combat width. It's going to kill my manpower, probably, but that's okay. Save there, because I'm thinking... <sighs> Demos? Artillery. Uh, or infantry. 10, 1, 3. 3, 3, 10. Mm, more suppression. Plus, more, you get more organization. <sighs> Cost less weight, actually. Gives you, this one gives you slightly more breakthrough. It gives you more defense, though. I like more defense. Don't do that. That's fine. And there goes our manpower. Woo! And I got a little bit back. That's nice. These guys have what? Just purely, almost pure infantry. It's not bad. But we will definitely have to pull a full few tricks. By tricks, I mean just really attacking one area. Very harshly. Very, very harshly. Alright. Well, we could do this. Uh, habitation. Stability? Let's get this one. Reach out to the holdouts. Like with any big societal change there need, to, there will be some who resist it. We need to reach out and reconcile with though with these holdouts. I'm sorry I cannot speak tonight or during this episode. It's just words are hard. Let's get oh, freedom is the right of every Westlander because we don't want to lose stability, and I'll get at least a little bit more training. There you go. Stop training. Stop ruining my guns. Get some more manpower on yourselves. And recon or anything good? Yep, that looks really good. Looking real nice right there. Mm, good, good, good. Chief of the Air Force. I do need to make some planes. That would be very nice. Uh, that's not bad. This is best, though. Crazy horns are gone. Yeah, weapons manufacturers. That's not bad. Energy, weapon, research, speed. Stability, stability. I'm thinking we might get stability. Nah, let's not do that. Let's go over here. There you go. I'm going to max that out. 232 becomes what? 269. Nice. Alright. They got a couple divisions. Not sure how much they have. Not sure how much of what they what they have at a period. They have even a little... About, maybe about the same manpower that we do. Which isn't terrible. And I wonder why the Japanese flag was there. But they declared war on Vault City. Who's fighting the Pale Folk. This is a very violent campaign so far. For everyone else. Not me. We're being as peaceful as possible right now. When it comes this way though. You guys are going to help out? You guys are going to, they're there. 
We might just go straight for the capital, actually. Hey, Desert Rangers, three divisions, yes. That would be delightful if you could do that. And if that's the case, move you guys up here. We're going to go straight for the capital. Move in, move in. Very good. Oh, 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 1v1. I did not want to see that. You know what, how about we don't be greedy? Let's not be greedy and just do that. Yeah, I'm not going to be too greedy here. Cut him off and see the reaction and, yep. They are attacking me, which I knew that would happen. It's easier to not lose guys if you're fighting on defense and attacking. So, just kind of hang out for now. They're going to starve and kill themselves on our line a little bit as we rejoice. But we've just reached out to the holdouts. And, you know what? Armor Crusaders. Hmm. What does this stuff do? Infantry weapons. Stability. I like that. Teaching stuff. That's not bad. Timber line. Seeks for help. Let's do... Cleansing of the Crimson Forest. First matter of business, the Crimson Forest, the Crimson Forest, the Acolyte's dark scar they have left on this land is no blessing at all, but a curse. We must learn to move past this darkness and hear the land as God meant it to be. Oh, lose technocracy, more de democracy. Technocracy and democracy and get a wee bit more of political power. I don't know where my voice went there, but it went places. Cool. Oh, I want you to come this way, my friend. That way. You can help out in the attack if you like, though. That'd be no problem. Very good. Very good. Beat him up. Hey, the guys have shown up. The dudes. Them rangery dudes. I should probably honestly get some, um... Spec Ops equipment. Wow, that manpower's going down. Probably because we have to do resistance stuff, too. Field fortifications? Good. That's why I'm going down Trooper Warfare. Army breakthrough? Yes, I love breakthrough. Good. Okay, Desert Rangers. Well, if you're if you're paying for dinner, I mean, if you want to pay to go that way, yeah, go right ahead, man. Let's other guys get on to where they need to be. Follow Vault City. Bye bye, Vault City. You, well, I guess technically you weren't the chosen one, but you were available, and you were gone. Beautiful. And we're gonna circle division. Hopefully, you guys are gonna stay in Dick sh Shooter. You're gonna immediately do that, and then do that too. Bye-bye. Oh, you guys are dying there. That's fine. Um, we want to attack here. We want to attack here. You guys could help attack here. Actually, do that. There you go. We're going to come that way, and then move down that way. Cut everyone else off from the capital. Beautiful. Now, they want to move in, and I'm saying, nah, not today. And you guys want to move in that way? That's fine. Kind of hang out. Cleansing of the Crimson Forest. Very good, very good. Next up we shall do... Reforming the Wicked. The Acolytes at first were hard to break. Their minds twisted by the melody of the odious king. It is only through reverence to the God of Steam that we are able to bring them back to sanity. Yet still, there are those sinners that cannot be saved. What shall we do with them? We get the question. Sinners, what do we do with you? Hmm... I like this one. I'm just going to keep increasing my conscription. I'm sorry. Words are hard tonight. Conscription level. To be honest, I'm recording this at night time, so my mind is somewhat slipping into reverence of God. And they stopped. Wow, that took a while for them to establish themselves. Jesus. I mean, uh, thank you, good Lord. Thank you for giving me this time. Don't want to take the Lord's name in vain when I'm trying to play as a, a good, a good nation here. You're trying to attack me, so I'll attack you back. Oh, we gotta get Dex in. Yes. Well, time to go to Dixon. There you go. Bye, beautiful. Son. Where are you going? You ain't going nowhere. Actually, you just gonna come here, probably. Now you're going to stop them from doing anything unrighteous. Oh, you didn't want me to come to Dixon? Mm-mm, I, I know you. I know what you and your evil spirits want to do. Nope. Well, we've lost 85, which is not too bad. About 100 losses in this, uh, this war. Not too bad. I'd say that's a pretty much a win. Alright, alright, alright. So next up, we're going to 
Corn on AFB. Dixon, Dick Shooter. Dixon. Dixon. Oh. Oh, I thought it would be done by now. Who's next? Oh, Antelope Tribes. Oh, we're gonna have a... That's a thick Reno. So, recently, the Sarah Pilgrims have reached a crisis of faith. How do we settle the issue of sinners among the flock? Some feel that sinners should be crucified and that their sin will spread to others. Others, though, feel that ultimately the God of Steam is a merciful God to those who open their hearts to him. In truth, neither approach is right or wrong. The Gospel can only tell us what is, it is. The Son of Steam told us that they were all alike, but each had its own gift from God. Luke 5, 29. We must choose one path that makes the most of it. Forgiveness is good. Psalm 1, 1. The way of the sinners is wrong. Something tells me we might want to be very forgiving, in which we will get a little more manpower. And we, I don't want to lose stability, but uh, uh -uh. forgiveness for all people, my friends. John 1, 9. Forgiveness is good, as the good book says. Shoshone legacy. With the Shoshone de dealt with, we have learned a great many things from the prisoners of war we have kept. Tales and myths dating back hundreds of years. We get some water, too. Alright, so, um, just before I move, or, you know, click on enter here, or to go to the next thing. The next step is whatever we choose to do. I'm thinking here, we go to war with Murtal. Maybe. Now, that could potentially put us at war with these folks down here. Now, the troll war, we gotta keep an eye on those folks, because, good lord, we're gonna need every blessing possible to deal with these mutants. We really gonna need every every trick in the book. And next thing I'm gonna research is planes. Well, this will be land auction and then planes. In the time being, we could go to War of the Timberline, but we gotta wait. High Chapel, I think they can wait as well. That'd be good. I think Murtal, just because they're close, they're available. They're already halfway to being of the good Christian faith, but never mind because they're guaranteed by Hat Chapel. Alrighty, sport. I guess you got the look of the draw. How long would that take? 120 days? That's not bad. We got time to do good. Do the Lord's good work. Now, I do know Esport will eventually get attacked by the 80s. Eventually. Maybe. We'll see what happens. We must be ready. But you never know what our enemies plan. Never, never know. Okay, at least we got, we got 20 combat with Shakies. Shakers, which is muy bueno. Um, what do we else want to do here? Shoshone Legacy. Good, good. We're going to do the next one immediately, too. Mountain Home Air Force Base. The old Air Force Base here was once in our control. Now it is reclaimed once again. Now with this, we can... Blankety. Blankety. Blank. Oh, we get a bonus to te fighter technology. I like that. Now with this stuff, we already get outsider battalions. That's pretty nice. We don't believe in slavery. That is incompatible with our ways of life. Go ahead and put a lot on here, just because that never goes out of style. I don't think it does. Does it? Does it go out of style? Nah, it never goes out of style, so it's always good to make a lot of that. And there go the mayor drinkers, which means, which actually scares me a little bit. Okay, capture the war. What will happen in the north now? Yes, keep it up, mayor drinkers. Keep it up. I don't want to fight these mutants. No, no, no. They're evil. Oh, that's a... F no, what? Oh, you gave up... Oh, you gave up Klamath to the new Reno, folks. That's a big no-no. Oh, that would not have done that, my friend. No. My voice keeps changing. This is weird. Very weird. You can only get 1.5. That's not bad. That's not, that's actually pretty darn good. Restore the mountain base. We get caps. Anti-air. Bonus to air technology. Eh, that's okay. We can kind of wait first. Let's do that one first. Get another free civilian factory. I love that. I love that about this mod. You get a free civilian factory after like a few months. So nice. I'm going to completely ignore the Oregon Trails for a while though. Since it's really not necessary at all. Um... The Pillars of Rome, even that can be ignored for now, too. The Steam Blast in the Forest. Steam Machines. Dang, dang. Oh my goodness. The Goddess Steam. Also, there's another comment for me to go robotics. It's not a bad idea. I might do that. Further integration or Steamwork integration? More? No. Striking at the source. I think we're going to go with this way just to get more factories fast. Faster question of the solace. Let's do the God of Steam. The God of Steam is our divine creator. A man made of iron and steel, twisted and brilliant in his make. His will is righteous, and his word is law. God bellows out from the steam and brings heat to the wastes through his veins. Yes. Very, very much yes. It's really weird, though, that we have to click on the air map mode to get a good, good view 
of where we are located. Because right now, we own a lot. We own a chunk of northern Nevada. Not even South Oregon. Just Nevada. Good chunk. But you know what? As long as the marrow drinkers do the Lord's work, they might be okay for now. In the Lord's eyes. My eyes, not so much. But the Lord's eyes, sure. Cool. Switch over. Because even gliders, they do have a little bit of ground attack, which is very, very nice. I do want to stockpile a little bit of political power so that when we, or when we can finally, um, course stuff, we'll be ready and good to go. Chief of Navy, is, we can ignore that. Chief of Air Force, Flyboy, we might as well grab that, though. Just because we want to make as many planes as possible, as quickly as possible. 10%, though. 10% of .1 a day. It ain't much. The God of Steam, though. And Armored Crusaders. In our crusade against the wicked, no heretic will be safe. We must talk or question the soulless. Very good. Occupied territories? What occupied territories? This is all proper Seraph Lord territories. Man, that is probably the biggest I've ever seen in Cyclops tribes, to be honest with you. When the Yakuza declared war on Vault City, they didn't do too badly. Coordinated assault, trooper warfare, prepared defenses. Amen. We got a lot of stability. A lot of war support. That's really nice. Look at that. The Seraph Lords. Ah. Oh, I like that we get more research speed, too. That's kind of nice. So we only have three research slots. Can we actually get another research slot? I mean, we can become advanced. I know that. Maybe through one of these events with question, this question here. Schism in the Steam, maybe. Uh, oh, man. We actually get more speed. Max factories and research speed. That's not bad. Very good. Very good. We got that. That can wait. Um, basic weaponry, yeah, let's go with that. Let's make sure that we got, you know, at least the basic basics. We we're not mobilizing anymore. Wow, we're already at 10% conscription, and we're not even mobilized. So, question of the solace. Recently, the Seraph Pilgrims have reached a crisis of faith. How do we settle the issues of automated labor? Some feel that soulless creations shouldn't work alongside man, while others feel that they are nothing but a tool, and if they aren't truly sinful, that God, why is that lowercase g, we're talking about God here, would have never given us the ability to make such things. It is a thorny ooh, topic that has filled the ranks of the Seraph, and uh, they are contemplating the best way forward. The leader of the Seraph Pilgrims, Cain, has gathered some Seraph elders and has addressed their dilemma in a few words. Jeremiah? Or the soul is a key to heaven. Hmm, I'm feeling... Well, a word from God. That Jeremiah 29, 13. Those with a pure heart can find heaven. Hmm. Hmm. Robotics. I love it. Further steamwork integration. With some further work, we have been able to further integrate the energy pipelines of the steam into our lands. <sighs> we are truly blessed. Truly, truly blessed. We got literally a week before we can go to war with these guys. They had the Father's influence. Enforce trade laws, new schools. They believe in schools. Okay, they have erected a palisade. Uh, wealthy. Scavenger resources. Mountain City. Yes, please. Alright, so let's take a good look. They got 8 to 15 divisions. They got some dynamite. Hmm, not bad. Less than a thousand manpower, which is good for us. And if we had to strike somewhere, this wouldn't be very good to attack. It looks like, though, we might be able to attack right here, which would be quite optimal for us. So let's see what happens. They don't attack us. No one wants to join us in our quest to bring the Lord's good word. All right, then. I'll let you guys hold. I'll let you guys help support the attack. We should be able to blast through these guys and actually go, go straight to Mountain City when you're ready. That should be good. Terry Brennan, uh, you're quite inspirational, and I love that you're quite inspirational. We need some recon companies, too. Out of supply, power armor. Uh, max entrenchment, we're not on defense. I'm probably just going to go with... I like this a lot. We're going to get recon eventually, too. Let's go with local leader for now. I think that would be fitting. And do you have anything for us? Great Chief... Sh uh, commanding Officer, Great Chief Shatterhand. Oh, they've called in a few more guys to help out, huh? I see what it's like. I see what you're doing. They've lost 28 guys. We've lost none so far. Good. They are really going to lose a lot of organization. Hmm. Never enough. Come on, guys. You've got this. You've got this. For the steamwork integration, good. But that's steam blasting the forest. Using powerful steam gauge, gauge, gauge weaponry taken from heaven, we have been able to rip apart the twisted scarlet bark of the crimson forest. Good. God is even more pleased. You know what? I'm going to really max out these planes. I love planes. Man. I've not been in too many planes. 
but sometimes being in planes is a little fun. A little fun. Especially when you can pilot. This guarantees us victory. With the Lord's blessing, we shall win. Oh, they don't like that. They're even attacking us. Oh, I'm going to use actually our plane bombers, but I'll do that as well as biplane fighters. And since we're using fighters already, we must get the next one there. Thank you. They really don't like us. Look at that. Ah, we got a little bit of air XP. That's nice. Oh, man, they are going to die here. They really don't want the Word of God coming in. You know what? That's okay. If they choose not to have the Word of God, we'll force them to have it, or they can die trying. Trying to resist, of course. Oh, wait, the Desert Rangers? <sighs> Desert Rangers. Oh, no, no, no. What have you done, you heathens? Oh, God is disappointed in you, Desert Rangers. You dishonor God. Oh, no, no, no. Help. Go, go, go. Oh, they're going to reforce that area. That's fine, that's fine. We can wait. Steam machines, tanks, striking at the souls. We can never truly purge this blood from the steam god's earth until we deal with the spawn of the devil himself, the odious king. He is used to being exiled. Let us exile him from our lands. Good. Now we must stop the attack here. We must be smart. God, is, God does not want us just to throw away our manpower. Men are precious. Guns, not so much. So, they have three divisions here. But now I've got an extra division here. What shall we... Well, obviously, I, I've got attack right there. That's so weak. Go and help out. Go ahead and help out. That mine, you guys. And then just break that way. And just help out. Just go. Show up there. Push down that way. Extend their lines. They can't really defend that well. Empty. They instantly defeated. Uh, tar walker is cool. No, 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 no. You're not moving. Good. If you want to drag this war out, so be it. So be it. You can help support the attack. Really makes them uh, conflicted. We destroy those divisions first. Oh, what are you, where are you going, son? Where are you going? Do you not like it? When I try to encircle you? And I'm going to send these guys down south, too. Because I'm about to get encircled here, probably. On striking at the source, not bad. Coming of the Seraphs, nice. The Seraph Pilgrims are righteous in their cause. We have come out triumphant. The God of Steam is kind to us, and we work in His image. Actually, if anything, um, they're trying to move up this way. Come, stop attacking me, please. You know what? You hold. You're coming this way. Prepared up defense, good. And get some more hard attack. Oh, you wish to attack me? Good luck. It's just all the distraction, really, for what my plan is. How about... Push him out. You know what? Fine. So be it. Where are you going, son? Where are you going? I'm pinning you down in so many different places. Oh, one, two, three. Actually, let's just stop doing that there, then. You are not gonna win this war. 125 losses. Oh, Eastport, you are a bunch of sinners that have that just cannot be redeemed. It's a shame. Mm, can't get there in time, that's fine. But we can definitely get here in time. Move, move, move. They have forsaken their capital and left it to heathens to guard it. Big mistake. And Mountain City is ours, good. Alright, next up. We shall let our guys spread out around, and we shall encircle these guys, finally. Actually, what the heck? They just completely... The AI is very funny. Tells the best jokes. Uh, give me one guy coming here. There you go. Ta-da! Encirclement. I don't know why you put three there and leave that completely open. Uh, don't let him move. There you go. Nice. Very nice. And at this point... You guys are doing well. You guys are doing well. Beat him up. They did not want peace. Nope, never did. They never did. And you guys are going to be starving. Good. Just go up, come here. Take one. You guys go there to there. And the other guy is going to come straight to... Nannies! Nannies! I don't know why I said it like that. Oh, another Gek. Seraph Crusaders. I want to get a Gek. So with much difficulty, we've managed to purify one of the Geks of the Crimson Acolytes, essentially rebooting it and cleaning it of foreign contamination. Good. 
Kill them off. Kill all these guys off. We, we have to help God. We can't expect him to do all the work. Good. Ah, oh, the heathens are once again in our way. Nice. Nope, you're not moving. You're all going to struggle here. Now, we might get encircled here. That's kind of okay. Oh, we got it. Stag, get stag. Oh, we got it. We got it. Nice. Awesome. I knew that would happen, but that is as much time as we have today for this episode, my friends. If you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all, to, all of you tomorrow on our journey to be as holy as possible and to purify the wastes. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.